Today's episode is sponsored by Pride of Our Footscray. I'll be there this Saturday night, the 30th of November, with my co-host, Passion Gatua, and our special guest, Glitterly. We're at Pride every month for camp drag shows and dance floor till 3 a.m. Check the Pride of Our Footscray Instagram and Facebook pages for more information and see why West is best. Before we start today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Kick Ons. My name is Art Simone and on this week's episode, we have extra special guest star, Jandrews. Hey, Butch. Oh my God, Jandrews, how are you going? Look, I'm all right. I'm alive. I'm here, yeah. surviving the summer heat. How do you find the time to visit us when, you know, you're a beef master, you're a DJ, you're a costumier, you are a professional sandwich artist. You know, what can't you do? I've got fingers in all the pies. The one thing I can't do is drive. Oh, no. Lucky you can. I know. Yeah, that's all right. And you lucky get... you've got a sunroof. Yeah, no, stop it, please. We just like to let the little head out. Um, okay, well... Are you coming to pick up? Welcome. Now, if people don't know who the hell you are, besides, uh, when I say beef master, by the way, Jandrew's donated a beautiful pink barbecue we have here, which does have beef master but dazzled all over it. Yeah, it's not functional, but no, who, who needs to eat? No, exactly. No one's eating at kick-ons. No, 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 definitely not. It is just um, for display purposes only. And I also say sandwich artist because you are iconically known for making a sandwich in some of your live performances. Yes, I'm part of a, a cabaret troupe called Yummy. And for the past 10 years, I have been making a human-sized sandwich on stage all over the world. And I've eaten more mayonnaise than I care to admit. Yeah, if you had to guesstimate how many sandwiches you think you have made across the world... How many would it be? Oh, fuck. I'm a, I'm a dancer. I can only count to eight. <laughs> um, we'd have to be in the hundreds. We'd definitely be in the hundreds. Yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree. I only realised recently that some artists licence out their acts for other people to perform in shows. Yeah, I, I discovered that a couple of years ago when yeah. I've been I've been trying to work out how I could <laughs> shop sandwiches yeah. out because I'm sick of doing it. Yeah, you like um, but <laughs> apparently no one wants it. So that's fine. Oh, well, no, I'm, one day someone will... Someone will get hungry. Yeah, someone will eat your sandwich. So you're a DJ, you're a dancer. You've just been on stages all around the world. Yes. Why is Kick-Ons your favourite stage? Um, well, I would consider myself a professional kick on -era. I, yes, <laughs> I feel like that is correct. If Kick-Ons was a viable career, <laughs> I would be employed. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, we've been meaning to ask our audience, so I'll ask you as well. Have you ever watched Kick-Ons at a Kick-Ons? That's what we need. We need a kick on wow. Actually, because I have looked through the calendar, I will be watching Kick-Ons at Kick-Ons for the finale. Yes. The night before, the 20th, yes. the finale, Yes. we are doing a party called Barbara. Ooh. It's a big drag rave. We've yes. got a single queen from every letter of the alphabet. So it's over 27, not just drag queens. We've got pole dancers. We've got circus performers. It's like back to back for three hours That's at 170 Russell in the city. It's going to be... Fucking camp. That's cooked. Barbara. 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 By Barbara. But it's called Barbara because it's femme and fancy. <laughs> and I want to throw that out to the audience. If any of you are going to be watching kick-ons during your kick-ons, please send us a picture. Tag please us. tag us. Because kick onception is absolutely beautiful. I don't think you're going to remember a single thing that we've said. I don't think that matters. But we are the perfect background music to fill out your kick-ons. Maybe it's a kick-ons for one. We'll be your friends. <laughs> so Drag Race said under season four, how have you enjoyed it so far? I am. I wouldn't say pleasantly surprised. Mm. I'm ex I'm exhilarated to be surprised at how oh, good it is. Okay. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's been great. It's a really great bunch of queens. Michelle is doing a great job. Yeah. I feel like it's a good breath of fresh air yeah. into the franchise. Yeah. What has been your favourite challenge they've had to do so far? So what do we have? We have Bad Sandies, we had the double runway, and then last week was Snatch Game. Probably the double runway is because I like seeing looks. If you had to do Snatch Game, oh, fuck. who would you be? Oh, I'm not going to say. Oh, true. Don't make me say. <laughs> Gina Reinhardt, but yes. dressed as Jabba the Hutt. Money, 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 money. Yeah. Well, actually, that, that Something could be like quite that. funny, actually. That would be quite funny. Nicole Kidman, but she's gone into witness protection post the divorce with Tom. And the, the Nicole Kidman that we see 
That's not the real Nicole. It's like the Avril Lavigne oh, thing. Oh, no. But doing it in a costume where it looks like like the boobs are about here and the waist starts here and doing the whole snatch game standing up. So she looks really tall, but she's sitting down and just extending the torso all the way down to the desk. She's got very short arms, but a very long torso. You could also just clap like this. Oh, you dropped your vape. I dropped my... I was trying to hide it. I was trying to... No, that's all right. Oh. There's nothing... Where, where would you keep that vape? Well, I... I made this little bag. It's big en- just big enough for a USB and a vape. Yeah, oh, she's oh, for the vape. <laughs> oh, she, doing it with one hand and a microphone. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Oh, oh. look at you go. <laughs> fluids, I want the oh, fluids. Yeah. It's fluids coming. In oh. Whoa. No, I love that. Oh. I want to gossip. All right. Mm. Thank you, the official tro. Grazie. Yay. Oh, what language is that? That's my um, broken... Australian. 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 Wow, yeah. like La Pochetta. La 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 Pochetta. Go with the food is oh so much better. La 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 la. Two hours later. La Pochetta. Thank you. Exactly like that. Cheers. Oh, cheers, girl. I had a sip already. Sorry. <laughs> this week, we're back in the workroom, okay? Someone's just been eliminated. It was kind of fooled. Poor bitch. But before we get into today's episode, it's time for the disclaimer. <laughs> We're sitting here on milk crates because drag race is great. We love it and we love the queens and you should too. So don't send anyone hate comments about it. All right, let's share the love. Please and thank you. I want to take this moment to give a special shout out to Ivory Glaze because that hair lasted throughout an entire lip sync and that, um... The ring. The ring. The ring of power. The ring of power didn't bend, it didn't break, it didn't warp. It was still whole. It was still whole. It was was a gaping hole. Yes, and it lasted. And I saw her wearing it last week and it still looks just as good. Bloody good on your ivory glaze, you weak witch. I don't know how you do it, but keep doing it. I don't know how many children you're sacrificing every time you style a wig, but go for it, you know? The world's overpopulated. Keep killing them. Yeah, good. (laughs) Kana's gone. She, uh, girls, why the fuck are you writing so much shit on the screen? They're writing fucking essays. Oh, I, re- I reckon. I reckon they're inspired by you. They want to write a book. Oh, I they're see. They're in training. They're they're learning their grammar, Step practicing forward. practicing putting a paragraph yes. together because. Most drag queens can't form a text message. No, no, but that's, so what, I think that's it's what emojis practice. are for. But yeah, I, I agree. It's too much. It's too much. Just write your catchphrase. Piss off. It's too much. I still don't know what it all said. I don't care what it all said. You know, how many tubes of lipstick did they go through? Oh, it's wasteful, really, isn't it? That is true. We finally get a little bit of actual shade. Ooh. A little bit of drama. <laughs> yeah, which I feel like everyone's been very lovely to each other. Vibe says, you know what? I think Kana and Max won that lip sync. Not Nikita. Controversial. But yet again, these girls do not know how to, like, take the bait. Because they're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it doesn't turn into anything. It's never brought up ever again. But I swear on it, like, if this was any other season, be like, why there, don't you think I'm good enough? There would be fists, yeah. stilettos flying at faces. Nikita's like, says, like, one line and just doesn't care. She... Is so unbothered and it is heaven. I love it. Yeah. I'm obsessed. I, look, I tell you what, from the promo, I was like, I don't know about this one. She's just, her energy is so good. She just doesn't care. She doesn't give a fuck. And, and she's, she's just, just, she knows what she's doing. She's like, I'm just going to do me. I'm amazing. I love you. Yeah, good on you, Nikita. I love you. Vibe still hasn't won, though. She's been edging for a while. She has been edging. I hope she's got good lube. <laughs> Mandy is um, still hasn't won either. No, and she's very horny this episode. She's is very. So I hope she's got some good loot. Well, speaking of horny, we're going to get into that. Soon. Oh, we are. There is lots. It's all of, kicking off. I don't know when these relationships have been formed because we haven't seen it on camera. I want you to try and describe the mini challenge that Michelle gives them in the next sixty seconds and make it make sense. Oh, and make it make sense. Yeah. I don't think they even did that on the episode. Okay. No. So previously. They all had to take a survey about their fellow contestants. Correct. Then the pit crew came in holding briefcases with yes. numbers on them. A bit like okay. deal or no deal. Deal or no deal, but with dicks. Then <laughs> they went through and asked them all to answer the questions and whoever answered the question with the answer that was the the average of yes. what most of them said, yes. they got to choose a number and get a fabric. But then multiple people were getting multiple fabrics, so some people weren't getting fabrics. 
All I can say is I'm very happy that Deb is back. My good Hi, friend Deb. Deb from my season. Rod, I believe her real name is not interested. It's Deb. Um, <laughs> good to see her that she's back again. That's lovely. Hi, Deb. Normally they give the pit crew a bit of a, like, like introduce them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a bit of a moment. There's a bit of banter, but we didn't get any banter. No. That's all right. Better seen and not heard, I guess. The, the interesting thing about this challenge, though, the whole point of it is to reveal what the castmates think of each other with these yes. question prompts. And we kind of find out that a lot of them don't rank Nikita very high in any categories whatsoever. It's wild. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. Like, <laughs> I, I get it. I know why they're, like, thinking well, these things. You know, Nikita's come in with, like, three pieces of fabric for the entire season. She's skipping around with a flower in her hair. So unbothered. Meanwhile, these other girls have been, like, slogging away for, like, three weeks to bring their looks to the thing. It's been the most stressful thing of their life. I can just guarantee that Nikita picked up the costume list, the runway list, two days before and was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll work it out. Yeah, that's fine. But if someone walks in and says, oh, I'm in the ballroom scene, I've won this category, this category, yeah. this category, I would go, okay, that's scary because their whole gig is yeah. competition. This bitch, this bitch has been training her entire career for competition yes. just, because, just because she's not at Stonewall or mm. at Ark or at any of the regular drag venues. She's competing. Yeah, she can just win with her face. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how much I've softened for her. I was I'm like obsessed. against the boa. I was against it all. Okay, I, I will agree. The boa yeah, was, was a bit that shit, was a choice. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. Look how far we've come. This is this is good story. This editing. is progress. <laughs> I was a bit disappointed at the beginning of the episode when I saw that they were getting fabric, actual fabric, because I think with a unconventional material challenge, you can really play up what things are made of. Yeah, and you're really forced to think outside of the box. Whereas with fabric, even if you can't sew that yeah. well, you can make a basic yeah. shape. Most of these fabrics are fugly as hell. They went to Spotlight yeah. and saw what was on the $5 or less rack at the front and just bought the bolts. I think I would have liked the sequin because, oh, the yes, sequin they played good. up this whole thing about, oh, you might break a needle, just put a new one in, it's fine. Yeah, settle down, it's um, not that hard. But I feel like you could hide a lot more with the sequin. You can hide Sp so much. Especially the one that Vibe got, which was a stretch sequin. Bitch, your seam could be like an <laughs> S down your back. No one will fucking Especially know. Especially with the print, which was um, Swirly, curvy. curvy. Hides it. Like, it's so much to distract away from everything. And she picked the good sequin out of there. The other ones were... Oh, was it a disco doc? No, there was one that was like on, like on a mesh, which obviously you'd have to back in something. Yeah. She picked the good one. Yes, good girl, smart girl. We get to the end of the challenge. Brenda's got between the tie-dye, the lame, and the denim. And she's like, oh, you know, I could be really calculated. What am I going to do? So she says, I'm going to take the tie-dye. Bitch, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That was the fabric they gave you to throw someone know, under the like bus. That, that was the one that... Oh, good on her, though. I mean... Um, look, I, I admire the gumption. Yeah, she's like, no, I love tie-dye. Nikita's like, oh, you got something against me? You trying to do a dodgy? Throw me under the bus with denim. Yeah. Which, sorry, <laughs> denim is not a difficult fabric no. to work with. I guess on paper it just looks, like, boring because it's just denim, like, as a, a plain... As a plain fabric, yeah. yeah, yeah but I lots guess. of cool stuff can be done with denim. Lots of cool, lots of cool stuff I don't know can what be you done mean. with oh, denim. Pacifically, I've never seen. Um, um, pacifically, <laughs> we're in the Pacific, pacifically. <laughs> also, Brenda, you've got that... <laughs> ugly tie dye. How are um, you throwing someone under the bus? And this happens with a little denim? bit later, but we may as well mention it now. We're lazy. Like she's the first one to really say that it's fucking ugly it's really fabric. Ugly fabric. And Brenda's like, oh no, what have I done? Brenda. Brenda. Brenda, I love Brenda so much. Oh, it's so ugly. Merch watch, merch watch, merch watch. Oh my god, we're back for merch watch for this week's episode, and boy, have I got some stuff for you. So let's kick it off with Brenda Breast yet again. I think there's a million items, and it's very exciting. So come out the official tro. Um, now, as you can see, uh, there's too many items to, um, to wear, but they might be floating in the ether. Um, but first, let's start off with the things from Sue's shop. So we've got a branded tea tail, which is very nice, custom. Yes. Um, very absorbent. And then in the kitchen world, we've got lots of different kitchen uh, accoutrement, like a rolling pin, a measuring cup or a spoon. I don't know what it is. Um, oh, some bowls, a pan, a Dutch oven. 
Don't, don't want the Dutch <laughs> oven. You don't want the Dutch oven? But among some other really exciting things. Oh, cheese grater. Mini cheese graters. And we've also got from the Brenda O. Bill. Bubble O. Brenda. That's one. The Bubble O. Brenda line. We've got um, an enamel pin. And we have uh, some giblets, gib, giblets croc charms. Oh, that is good legwork. So go and check out Brenda's new items. They're available on her website. There's lots of fun bundles and deals as well. She is the merch queen this season. I think she has taken the title from Lazy Susan. I don't know. It's exciting. Good on you, Brenda. And then we've got the LeMay, which goes to Mandy. Lucky her. And the denim, another great fabric to work with. Yeah, nice and easy. Uh, Mandy at the beginning seems to be like, Oh, I don't know. It's very shiny. <laughs> LeMay, fam famously Matt, but yeah. this one's very shiny. I feel like oh, Mandy no. is trying to like keep her cards to her chest in this moment and be like, oh no, what will I do? She's trying to, she's trying to be like an impia. Like, yeah. oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freya is in over her head. She's not a seamstress. She likes to design, but doesn't make her own costumes. It's, it's hard for me to imagine going on the show not yeah. know, knowing how to sew, yeah. but I would think if you don't know. Yeah you would at least ask a friend, how do I thread this machine? Well, do you know who she would have to ask? Mandy Mandy. <laughs> and if no one has Ma realised... Mandy would have been like, mm, I'm on too, I'm not telling well, you. Well, no, but uh, good on Mandy though, because if you look at Freya's credits for a lot of her runways this season, Mandy has made them. So Mandy was making her own <laughs> stuff as well as stuff for Freya on the same season. She is fucked. Yeah. That is psychotic. I know. Does she sleep? I don't know. What's she on? I want some. I don't know. Maybe she's at kick-ons right now. <laughs> we can, we can give it a call. Mandy? Girl, are you in here? Mandy! <laughs> Michelle hello, hello, hello. walks in with a sidekick this time. <gasps> Direct from Lord of the Rings. The, I love Orlando Bloom. Yeah, the magical elf person comes on down. It is Isis Avis Loren, our reigning queen and winner of last year's uh, design challenge. Yes. So who the better? Bride herself. Who better to give some great tips and tricks on what to do? Michelle talks to most of the people that we see. We don't yes. get to see Lazy or Max. We don't get to see Lazy or Max. It would have been cute to see a little Isis Max moment. But That's we're true. That. They're really trying to keep that separated. Keep that separate. Now, Freya, she shows her design. She wants to do something complicated but Michelle basically says do the simple one do the simple one and Freya says no <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, I'm going to do a knee skirt. Um, a knee skirt. Yeah, it's going to oh do my God. knee skirt. And then we go round to Vibe, who's like, oh, I've got a sketch of my outfit. <laughs> and then holds up a sign that says, please help please me. Help me. <laughs> Which is very camp. Like, Vibe is great TV. She's fucking oh, amazing. So, so good. Mandy is so confident in this. Unbothered. At the end, she whispers, she goes... Very confident in this one. But she is really keeping her cards close yeah. to her in front of the girls. But to yeah. Michelle, she's like, yeah, babes, I got it. You know, you know, this is for me. We talked to Nikita, who's going to do a gra uh, graffiti design. Graffiti, very South Auckland. Yes, street yes. Street urban wear. Yes. And then we're talking with Lucina, who is a bit in her head. She says, you know, the girls think I should have been in the bottom for Snatch Game last week. She's she's being a bit vulnerable. She's being she's a bit deflated. But Michelle's like, babes, you're here for a reason. You're here. She's like, yes, Michelle, I'm excited to be here. I've gone with the flowers. Can I just say, Max is in a great mood. Like she had her sad slut mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. She let it out. She had a cry. I know lots of people don't want to cry on national television, yes. but I think it was good for her because this is the Max I know. Yes. She's bubbly. She's making jokes. Yep. She's alive. It's really... She's also playing it up for the cameras yeah. now. She's making fun TV moments. I'm so... This makes me so happy. But <gasps> is she also playing, like, in a good bubbly mood because of certain flirtation moments slash dates slash things are happening in the workroom? Look. Mm. It appears mm. Freya and Max might start a couples only fan. I don't know. I don't know. They say sister dick will make you sick, but there's there's a pill for that now. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, no, good on them. Go for it, I girls. I think it's disgusting, actually. Oh, it's gross. It's a professional place. Homosexuality. This is the Olympics of drag, and here yeah. you are just Who fornicating with each other. You've got time to fuck. You're yeah, not doing I'm drag like, right. That is true. If you've got time <laughs> The rest of us dry as a riverbed. Thank you. you too. If you if you if you want to be a drag queen, blue balls. That's what blue you need. Blue balls. Yes. Taped to your ass. Cheeks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we also get a funny moment where Mandy takes time out of a really really busy day of making the most 
extravagant garment in the world. Fucking hell. To then go stick her head over Nikita's shoulder and go, oh, wow, Nikita, you're so creative. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> it was the most genuine interaction I've ever seen on any episode of if I, RuPaul's Drag Race. If I've ever seen a fed line from a story producer, that is one of them. I'm just like commenting on um, Ma Mandy's pictures. Wow, so creative. <laughs> <laughs> No, she'll hate me. Stop it. No, no. The girls are obviously going a bit loopy. It's a long day. It's crazy. Max has been pinning this skirt. Also, seeing her do it with her nails on made me so, like, oh. I felt so sorry for Bitch, her. Bitch, I wear gloves. I can't fucking do yeah. anything with nails. Yeah, yeah. But when she goes, I'm going to do pants, Five goes, that would be kind of gay. That'll be kind of gay. Another great line. Another. But, She's uh, full of them. Season four, just bringing out all the catchphrases. All the quotes, all the catchphrases. That'd be kind of gay. <laughs> That'd be kind of gay. <laughs> the girls come in. It's the new day. They're it's fresh. the runway They're day. They're so fresh because they've had a great <sighs> night's sleep, haven't they? Oh my God, all two hours of sleep. And some girls still haven't finished. AKA old mate Freya. Freya. Is still going. Bitch. She said... Mandy, you've made most of my looks. Can you make another one? Good on you, Mandy. She's like, I don't want to let she's my... She's a trooper. I don't want to see my Brisbane sister go. A true sister. I can't believe she's like, all right, no, you get your face on. I'll keep working on this. And then when you're in drag, I'll do your hem and everything. Bitch. That's too nice. It's too much. That's too nice. Too much. I wouldn't have the spirit to do no, that. No, bloody hell. I'd be like, you're on your own, bitch. Yeah, God, girl, please. I've done my own work. Why well, have to do your homework too? So the other weird thing is when they walk back into the workroom and they're all finishing their costumes, is that Lazy's got headphones on? What the fuck is she listening to? I don't know. Where did she get these? Apparently, she had like a prison iPod. I heard she was listening to Tori Amos this episode. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they just forgot to take it off her during the thing. They didn't notice. They no. thought it was just a fashion accessory. No. Can you imagine not noticing if someone's wearing headphones? That's so stupid. I... Ooh, should I pour it in? Don't stop it, please. <laughs> So they're getting ready and this week's topic is one that I think we can both speak to, yes. which is the disposability of drag in that Mandy's saying how she likes to create legacy pieces, she likes to construct things well so they can be used for years and years and years and they get passed on to another drag artist to then continue wearing. It kind of is a stigma that drag artists get for like wearing a beautiful costume. But maybe more than once. Yeah. Can you it's, believe? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. In this world where we need to be worried about the, yeah. the oceans rising, yeah. the plastic in there. Microplastics, the, Mother the, Nature. Mother Nature, yes. we're very worried about yes. Nikita. Yes. Yeah, you do, uh, you do have a little bit of guilt as a drag queen because most of your garments are completely synthetic. Yes. So you should make them to last yes. to be worn over and over again. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree with Mandy. Make them to last. Keep fucking wearing them. Yeah. Especially in the age of social media. Fast where, where you can see what someone's wearing even if you don't go to their show. Yeah. Your entire network knows what you've been up to. So they are absorbing it and they feel, well, I've already seen that whether I've seen it in person or not. And it's just a bit silly. It's very silly. It's a bit silly. Luckily, I think oh, I have been getting away with not wearing different costumes because I've been dressing as a middle-aged housewife for the last three months with a perm and a jumper. So, one outfit. Boil Everyone should just wear a essence. jumper. What yes. do you think? Jumpers in drag, yes not, or no? Not in this heat, but yes. And other queens that are wanting to start drag can look at this behaviour and be like, right, so I need to look different all the time, all yeah. the time, all the time. Don't. You don't have to. No. Uh, invest in your costume items. Get something that's really well made, high quality. Or if you want to like w wear different things... Style them differently. Yeah, style them differently. Get a good base. Yep. Switch it up a little bit. Separates. Separates in separates. drag. Whereas, uh, I mean, I'm wearing separates. This is the top half of my Lee Bowery look with a different oh. wig from a different look. You look. know, you can really move things Mix around. And match. You can do many things yes. with just a good base. I mean, yes. the first five years of me doing drag, it was just a G string and a high ponytail. Oh my God. The high ponytail is still bread. there <laughs> and a slice of bread. But, um, but are you wearing a G string right now? I am. Hey! You can't see it, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's time for the runway. Put the bass in your walk. Head to toe. Let your whole body talk. Now walk. 
yeah, so that happened. That happened. Um, Michelle comes out. Yeah, she comes out. Glow mesh. <laughs> glow kind of, mesh number. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a mid cut. Not a gown yet. It's not a gown, but it's it's edging. Maybe. I, feel, I feel a theme of the season, they, edging. Are they going to get longer? Ed, the they, hem is edging <laughs> us to a gown. Are they going to get longer? I don't know. I don't know. She Who looks knows? great. Who knows? Ice is in like a poison ivy thing, which is really mm. cool. Big structural thing Reese the looks um, beautiful. And then we've got G Flip. G Flip. Now, I'm not... Sorry. I'm not... I'm not familiar with G Flip. Oh, I w- I wasn't sure what we were gonna get from G Flip because it was very like, what are you doing here? You have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but that created some really great moments did. that we got to enjoy yeah. um, a little bit later on. So good on you, G Flip. Good on you. Um, now I know who you are. Yeah. Although we don't really understand G Flip, we've been told to mention that G Flip flipped Chriselle Cr- Williams from Michelle Sel- Williams. Michelle Williams. <laughs> Oh, I don't know where... Michelle, Ma- Destiny's, Michelle chi- Destiny's child, Michelle Williams, or the actress, no, Michelle Williams? Grishel Stouse. Grishel. Grizabella. Grizabella. Selling Sons. Selling Selling Sons. It's time for shits or tits. Shits and tits. So I'm we're going to so go excited. through the runway of all the different drag queens, and we're going to give them a shits or tits, whether we like it or we don't. Yes. Um, maybe something more if it's extra special. It's extra special. But we'll see. We'll see. First up down the runway, we have Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan. As a devil executive woman in her pleather. She's um, showing her true self. She She's is. being vulnerable. Just before we went to the main stage, the last shot they focused on was her with two flesh-coloured horns, like, doing her makeup, and we were just... Blend, blending the latex. We were like, was it latex? what? What, what's, what is she doing? What was that? Oh, no, she had said earlier that she was <laughs> going to be the devil, but we didn't think she would have no, fresh a ball, a ball cap. A ball cap with horns. I don't know, but we get to see the idea come to fruition when she walks down the stage. She's in this devil um, with these big horn tits. Horn titties. She's, she's ombre up. She's got a skull on the centre, a blonde wig. She comes out in a puff of smoke. And I she, didn't know she vaped. <laughs> And she's then, been holding that back yeah, for a minute. Yeah, no, secret, secret. She's got a reveal. Um, and then speaking of reveal, she pulls off her wig. What are you looking for? I was your looking vape? for my vape. It's in your, in your purse, <laughs> it's isn't in it? My, it's, no, I put it oh, in my boot. It, oh, my God. Easy access. Where did you pull it out of there? Jeez. Yeah, my retirement plan is to become a human smoke machine. Just, to, oh. just on the side of the stage at Circuit. Just whenever, no, whenever, I, they need, whenever they're doing like a spooky number, I'll just... <laughs> Wait, I can imagine you like, w- like working at a fringe festival and being like, John, smoke for your number. I'll come and do it. Oh, that was really good. Mm. That was really good. <laughs> Would you have made the same outfit as Lazy Susan? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> I mean, she... Prompts to her. It, it, it is lazy. It would not work on Moon. Okay, okay. It would not be my choice. No, I see, I, I see. I'm not a devil. I'm an angel. Oh, all right. Angle here. Angle. But the main thing she does is she does a wig reveal. She does. <laughs> and not a knee. It's classic. It's not what you'd expect. It's not. It's a set of devil horns... Flesh-toned. Flesh-toned devil a, horns. With a bull, bald cap and a wisp of a hair. A wisp of hair. It is absolutely disgusting. It's horrific, but... It, it is camp. It's so camp. It works. Yeah, it's it works. really, really fun. Um, but it's like... Uh, her, she, didn't, she didn't construct those. She would have taken them yes. and thought... I might need these. Just like with the with the nubbin teeth that she wore in episode That's one. True. She just packed some shit and yeah. thought I might need some She's shit. She's just got a box of tricks. Is the garment beautiful? No. It's, it's fine. But it's like it's fine. It's and fine. It, and it makes sense why it's safe. Um it it's the concept. I enjoy that lazy looked beyond the garment and decided to create a full look from head to toe, yeah. a full concept. So it's definitely a tits from me. It's a tits from me. Tits it's for Lizzie. It's a- Next up, down the runway, Who we have Lucina Innocence oh. in our beautiful rosette butthole dress. The Rose of Wellington. Where yes. is she from? No, the other uh, one's Auckland. from Wellington. Yeah, Auckland. 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 The Rose of Auckland. I, I do this every week. She looks beautiful. She's Her makeup gorgeous. is... Stamped. It's incredible. She's just so beautiful. She's she looks like she's on Instagram with a Paris filter. Yeah. How does she live just being so beautiful? Like if I did my makeup like that, I wouldn't leave the house. I'd just be like You get stuck in the mirror before you yeah. like just Hi. 
Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me. I just really beautiful. You've seen her. No, I love her. Um, the dress, I don't mind the dress. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I can see what they're kind of saying about the placement of the roses. What Vibe suggested earlier, I wouldn't like it if it was just around the hems. Yes. I think, I think choosing areas and concentrating them in some areas and having them kind of gradiate. Yeah. Because she's doing it in it, this kind of applique way. It did get a bit polka dotty. It got a little bit polka dotty and then there was nothing really on the sleeve. And on top of that, the flowers are three-dimensional. They're not in a print. So they're adding bulk in weird yeah. spots. So I could understand. Was it bad? Not at it all. It wasn't bad. Um, so... Uh, the only thing... Mm-hmm. and. You know, this is coming from me. Who's, yes, you're who's allowed not, to. Not a hair girl. Oh, the hair. Imagine a big updo, yeah. a big tall updo. You could even have done like a fascinator with all the, like really, if you're going to use the rosettes, like just use them. Use the rosettes. And also she's so tall. Yes. Like that's that's her superpower. Yes. Visually. Yes. Like build the hair up to be yeah. a fucking, be the Burj Khalifa, be the tallest drag queen, be the tallest building. No, I'm giving it a tit. I'm giving I'm giving it a tit. I'm giving it I'm giving it like a double A cup. And you know, Lucina's moved to Melbourne. So if we <gasps> say She's tit, moved here. Yeah, so if we say tit loud enough, I reckon she'd be able to hear us. Tit <laughs> Next up down the runway, we have Nikita Iman in her denim, her graffiti. Love it. Fucking love it. Love, love it. it. So so good. So creative. So, so <laughs> creative. She made the fabric her own. She really kind of pushed this challenge back into the world of unconventional yeah. materials because she sculpted that denim collar bit that goes around mm. her. She built up and she didn't, it wasn't just the collar. She built it up around the yeah. hips to like accentuate the shape. Yes. Great. Nice silhouette. So, so good. Accessorized it really well. That really, that little wig, that flicky wig Wispy, was really funky. Flis- oh, so early Early use. Yeah, yeah, early use. Early use. She's really done super, super well this week. And I think it's the first time she's really come to the top of the competition and said, you know, this is what I do. Yeah. She can just make shit happen. And that's what she kind of has been doing the whole season. You think back to um, her promo look, to the um, other stuff she's been creating on the spot. She's a fucking threat. Yeah, she's good. And she's she's just great TV. Like all her confessionals. It's a good big tit for good old... Old Nikita Iman. Mm, yeah. It's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Next up down the runway in her tie dye, it is oh. Brenda Breast. The fantasy. Bless the breast because the breast is best. The breast is best, but this garment is not. Look, I. it looks... Oh. A thousand yes. times better than what I thought it was going to look like. In the workroom, it was this weird caftan of mismatched prints. But when she revealed, she added the white to it, to the Peter Pan collar, to when she took off the skirt, she had the go-go the boots. The 60s mod thing. Yeah, I, I think she made the best of a bad situation. However, she put herself in the bad situation. So I feel like I still have to blame her for that. Yeah. She's the literally, she's the embodiment of that meme of the person riding the bicycle and they put the branch through their own bicycle and they're falling off it. And they're like, damn you. That was her. <laughs> yeah. Look, she kind of made her own bed Toy and she, bed. and she t- chose tie dye sheets. <laughs> um, and now she's, she's lying in it. Um, <laughs> Look, I will give her that it is a well-constructed garment. It's just she's really shot herself in the the, foot with the fabric. It's the fucking tie-dye, isn't it? It's the fabric. Yeah. And, like, the judges went on and on about the over-accessorizing. Fuck off. Like, that uh, that was too much. But it's drag. You can over-fucking-accessorize. Like, come on. you you, No. No. No, no, no. Give it a rest. I didn't like that as a critique. And I want to say, they did her so dirty and dodgy with this edit. (sighs) Okay. News flash, you walk the runway twice. You get to walk it twice. So if something goes wrong, you've got another take of it going correct. They use the take where it goes wrong because she does a reveal and she kind of stops and goes halfway. Oh, and then the no. poor bitch, they oh. air this of her face being like, like but, it's so wah wah sad, but then she keeps going. And they use that as a critique. You know, G Flip's like, oh, you know, the reveal didn't really work, blah, 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 blah. But. Later on, when they're in Untucked and they're like talking about Brenda and they're showing clips of her on the runway, they show the other runway where her reveal works. And her face is ecstatic afterwards. I know you have to do it for the editing, but just stick to the same shot. Like, whoever, you have one job. It was kind of cute, the kind of way that 
Brenda went went when it didn't work and she kind of went yeah <laughs> it was it was uh, I because I love her yeah, it was yeah. cute in camp I'm going to tit the construction and the concept but I'm going to shit the fabric so that is a shit yeah the fa- the fabric is in the sewage tank <laughs> Um, actually, oh, uh, so I, I will give it a soft tit. Yes. A very soft, small yes, tit. Soft tool. I don't think it needed the reveal. No, no. And actually, can I just say? Yes. I feel robbed this episode because no one did really badly. Normally on no. Drag Race, the sewing You don't get to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's normally someone fucking yeah, terrible. Yeah. I was ready to yeah. come in here and bitch about how fucking horrible yeah. something was. Well... I was robbed of that. Well, I could bring the official tour up here and you could just say bad, mean things to him. Well, no, he'd like that. Okay, what's the theme? What's the theme? It's, um, it's uh, could, uh, f- fierce, fierce f- fab- fashion fabulous frenzy. Fash frenzy. frenzy. F- for, the, for the fisting. Mm. Okay. Now you have to describe your look. Describe your look. What you're wearing what you down serving? the runway. Thank you. Well, I don't, I'm not getting any of that. <laughs> I'm getting... <laughs> I'm I'm getting no closure in the back. I'm getting I'm getting. Didn't even, oh. Where are the hems? Are where, there hems? Where are anywhere? the hems? Are there hems? There are no there are no hems anywhere. Derek Barry would be shocked and appalled. You don't have the body of Nikita Raman. You can't just you wrap can't something around off. yourself like You're that. You're not winning the face category oh, today. No, it's an absolute shit. It's an absolute shit. No, it's a it's dog diarrhea. Ball of shit. Get out of here, oh, yes. Oh, Choke okay. yourself. That's, that's, a bit, that's a bit... No, that's... Don't, no, don't gift yourself that pleasure, no. please. <laughs> Next up, down the runway, we have Vibe in her Vibe. sequin extravaganza. Great tit. tit. Like, looks great. I love that she didn't just do a simple sequin gown. She said, I'm going to at least add extra elements. Yeah, add some cutouts. Break it up yeah, a bit. Yeah, the cutouts in the shoulder, the, the up the leg. The um, keyhole back. The skirt looked like it was actually detachable. It seemed like she had like a base underneath. And maybe then she was prepared. If maybe. she th- If she thought, oh, maybe if they think... This is too simple. I want to be prepared to whip out a lip sync. Gorgeous. She looks great. And the hair's beautiful. She's the added the ruffle design along the hem oh, of yes, the split nice, around the leg. Nice she added the bow. Oh, the bow. So she's worked really, really hard um, and it looks really great. Tit for vibe. Gorgeous, juicy tits for vibe. <laughs> All right, next up down the runway, we have Freya Armani in her kitty girl animal print outfit. Michelle's um, favourite colour. Yes. It... First of all, besides the outfit, this wig that she's wearing is so lush. Heaven. It is like heaven. Gorgeous. Um, very the jealous of the wig. I can't clock the lace. No. Nah, like, nah. Beautiful. The only thing I will say, you know, because we're nitpicking, is um, later she has two hairpins that are like black in her blonde wig and you just see them on the outside. And they're very distracting, um, you know. But luckily the dress was ugly so I could stare at that yeah. instead. That yeah, was there, was a lot, there was a lot to distract yeah. from the two bobby pins. <laughs> um, the dress. Look, it's a long dress with a, a fishtail and some fringing on the back. Sorry, fishtail? Knee sorry, skirt. Knee skirt, sorry. Knee skirt. Skirt. Knee skirt. Thank you, G-Flip. Um, Don't let that catch on. The dress. Was it ugly? No. She she's beautiful. She looks good in it. The fit wasn't right. Yeah, you know. it was a little bit. I feel like her breasts were a little bit yeah. lower than I would have liked her. I wasn't a fan of the black fringing across. That was the a back. weird thing. That was just. It was just. There. That was the only place it was. Yeah. I don't know why it was there. I don't know why. Freya, why? Why? I don't why know. Was it, there? it must have been hiding something. I don't know. There's or maybe she just like put it on. She's like like. Oh, now I've already glued it on. Oh, well, oh, I guess well. it's there now. Guess it's there now. <laughs> <laughs> and because Mandy did help a lot, apparently, I uh, that does push it into the shit zone for me because I'm like, what did you do? You were too busy flirting, yeah. Freya. All right. She was. That's right. Yes. She needs to be sad, gutter yes. trash. She yes. cannot be happy. This, with is, what, this is what happens when you're happy and smitten in drag and you're feeling love. You make a shit frock. And you end up Where's in the bottom. Where's the torment? Where's the motivation? You're going to have to lip sync to a shit song. Yep. That's what you yep. get. This is your punishment. This is your punishment. Yes. No love for no you. No love ever. Lone, drag queen, lonely. 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 No, no fuck. fuck, fuck, no suck, Blue suck. ball drag queen. Blue ball. Anyway, so for me, it is going to be a shit. But it's a shit that's had a good amount of fibre content. They've been keeping like up a good their, feeling one. Yeah, like, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you've had enough psyllium husk. Yes, I like it better than Mother Woodland stump face. So... <laughs> 
That, so that's where it fits within the radar of shit. Yeah. Next up, down the runway, we have Max Drag Queen in the checkerboard fantasy pants uh, extravaganza. It's great. It's great. It's fun. She made a, a flag prop to um, sell the she story. Did. That was nice. Um, she styled it really well. She looks beautiful. Always. Always. Um, is Bitch. it an exciting frock? Not particularly. Not particularly. But she looks great. I'm glad she didn't go with the circle skirt. Yes. If it was a circle skirt, it would have bordered on a bit of a shit. Yeah, saying. it would have. It would have. And um, it would have been a bit disappointing that Isis didn't teach her daughter how to make something more exciting. So I'm glad that she did the technical difficulty. She gets technical points of a pant. We were speaking about separates earlier. She has made all her separates. She's got the scarf. She's got the flag. She's got the capelet. She's got the pants. She's got the strip of fabric as a top. <laughs> um, it's safe. It's good. It's, it's fun. Yeah. It's a tit. It's a tit. Tit, it's tit, a tit. tit. Down the runway. And just to remind everyone, she was given this fabric 24 hours earlier. Mandius mm. Mubius. Lamay. Lamay. Oh, my God. Bitch. She is in a knee skirt gown, cut away, Bitch. corset, g- g- gloves, um, just a headband. It's just... Oh, she'd use all the different colours of the fabric as well because we, we weren't shown any of her outfit until this point. They kept it completely they kept it under wraps. secret. They were actually giving her such an edit of her talking up how good she was that I was like, oh, maybe, They're setting her up to f- maybe yeah. this is going to be shit yeah. and she's going to go home. But, bitch, so good. So good. There's actually not much to say because it's just so good. So good. What would be a good, a good thing to explain to people is what she did and why it's crazy that she did like the fact that she boned it and she there's eyelets on it and how long these things normally yeah. take she made a fully boned corset the last time i made a f- i made a fully boned corset it took me a full week yes eyelets all down the back yeah it was laced yeah it fit her perfectly yeah lemay is not the easiest f- like it's gorgeous but it's not the easiest fabric to no. work with which she have had to like because that's a stretch fabric traditionally so she would have had to turn it into a non-stretch fabric as well to make the corset yeah you would have had to interface it or line it with something yeah. else to be the strength layer to uh, to get the shape yeah ridiculous and then gloves yeah and the, all of the paneling but even all the, the cutaways and everything that's not most you come to drag race and you pack a pattern with you but like that is not a pattern. She no, just she's like cut that shit out. Like what? And that 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 section in the front. Yeah. Like it's all boned underneath, and then there's this section she that like comes down the across. sides, and it's ruched down to make this V. It's this so good. This bitch is insane. The look is just. It's you. Oh, you know. We know what it is. It's a. Mama, Mama that's, that's pussy. pussy. Now, everyone, I also want to say this is why I've been very harsh on Mandy Moobs in the earlier weeks because she wasn't delivering the, the Mandy that I know. And in the last two weeks, Mandy is here. She is present. She is creating absolutely exceptional drag, costumery, gagarooney, etc. The fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. I don't care. It's amazing. Merch watch, merch watch, merch watch. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're back for some more merch. And this time, for the first time, it's Mandy Moobs. Oh, that's nice. Good girl. Good girl yes, getting it out there. Yes. Come on, the official tray. You are wearing Mandy's brand new crop top here in pink. Um, very nice. There's Mandy Moobs across there. There's a little pig there, I believe. Um, and guess what? What? It doesn't come in one colour. It How comes many? in two. Two? Yes. And now we're in the black variation. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. nice. So these are only $35. They're available on Mandy Moves website. I believe she's also selling them at some of her um, viewing parties and gigs. So, babes, go and get yourself a crop top. The first crop top. And it is summer season. So. It is. Who she's thought about that. Midriff? She's thought yes, about it. She's a thinker. She's a thinker. Thank you. <laughs> so they line the girls back up. We find out that Max and Lazy are... Safe. Safe. Um, which I, I agree yeah. with. Um, and she does say any other week and you'd be, you know, placing high, but look at the evidence. Look at the look at the level of talent. And it's pretty damn good. We've got the tops and bottoms on the runway. Uh, the judges' critiques match exactly what we're vibing. Pretty much, um, it, yeah. It's very true. But the kind of exciting thing comes up during these critiques, which is just G-Flip. Oh, G-Flip. And G-Flip's one-liners. <laughs> Um, you know, Lucina, they obviously, they don't agree with like the flower place and I don't care about that because G Flip's like, your nails scare me as a lesbian. Um, you know, we go Valid, down, yeah. valid point. <laughs> the knee skirts. The knee skirts. We're talking it's about- It's favourite thing. Um, long slits. Uh, we're talking about gaping holes. Gape. 
G Flip's really given it to us. Sure, what more I could ask for? <laughs> Apart from drag queens now going to their nail tech and asking for <laughs> for for the lesbian for the lesbian everything long I'll, except for these. Two. I'll have the G Flip special, please. G Flip special. You know, Brenda has a bit of a moment on stage. She um breaks she's down feeling a little it. bit. She's it. feeling it. She reveals that she's missing her family. She's missing her partner and her family. You know, it is a bit scary because she's been doing so well. You don't want her to get in her own head, and yeah. I feel like. From this point, she's in her own head and she's like checked out a little bit, like emotionally. Poor girl, poor girl. But poor we also. Bitch. But you chose the title. <laughs> No, no, I, I no, do. Did, I do feel for her though, because like no, it's a no, it's a very valid statement. But she, she has did. just come from winning the yeah. last episode to now being like, oh fuck. What have I done? Yeah. And I don't have my people around me to lift me up. Like, I haven't been there, so I don't know what it's like. But I can imagine it is, like, very, very difficult. They're all so nice to each other. They Lucina are. Sabbath, they're all... It is a bit of best friends. Best, best friends, bit. guys. Yeah. And, which is really lovely. Because, because some can't of, the, can't some some of them bitch. just, like, whisper on the bus yeah. in the morning, be like... Bitch, can someone just be? Bitch, I love you, but yeah, we're gonna have a fight, and we're gonna yeah. make some fucking good TV. Yeah. Like Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to go yeah. out there and get cancelled yeah. by all of the hectic like, fans? Like, let's do it. Just give me a little, like, a little, yeah, like, just a little hiss. <laughs> no, but it's beautiful. No, it's, it's great. No. It's, it's realism. They no, no, like and each it's other. good I know. to show it's that. Disgusting. You know, two hours later. Gorgeous. Oh, oh we're all oh, so beautiful. So we love each yes, other so Slay much. Yes, Diva, oh, isn't it love cool? You. Love Ooh, it. Whip, whip, whip crack. Yes, my mum. Friends. Friends. Ooh. Ooh, love it. <sighs> Our winner this week. Surprise, surprise. Shock horror. It is Mandius Mubius. She has won this week. Good on you, girl. She Good wins a voucher you. for Shoe Me. Shoe um, Me. Shoe Me. Um, which is actually a very valuable prize it to is. have as a drag artist. It is. She calls Vibe's name. And Vibe goes, it's a tie, isn't it? <laughs> Vibe is give- I love how comfortable the girls are with Michelle. If that was Rue, that would, that would never, never have happened. happened. At all. Bottom three in front of us, we have Brenda Breast, Lucina Innocence, and Freya Marnie. Brenda looks so sad. Oh. They haven't even called her name to say, like, she's in she the bottom think, or not. She thinks she's going. She really thinks she... She looks like she's given up. She's Because she's already like... <laughs> whereas, like, I know in my mentality when I was like, oh, I could be in the bottom. I was like... Yeah, don't give them an inch. Which... I don't think is much better than just looking sad because I think that yeah. looks just as sad actually now that I think about it. Uh, do you know what would have been camp <laughs> if Brenda was in the bottom and she'd saved a little piece of her moustache from last week <laughs> to whip out and glue on as a flavour saver? Uh, oh! That would have been camp. Who knows what she could have had planned? She might have had it. Yeah. She might have had it nestled between her teeth. Yeah. So we find out that Brenda is in fact... Safe. Safe. So she gets to live another day. It's not your time, Brenda, but in the bottom we have Freya and Lucina. Lucina. And this time it's not a three-way lip sync. It's a back to, back to a duo. To a male vocal song yet again. I, we, I think we honestly have the highest ratio of male vocals in a franchise, um, which is just so bizarre. And uh, people may not know, but this song was actually the audition song for season three. It was. This song, okay, I may have I may have auditioned for Drag Race Down Under before. We were, no, it's, it's all just speculation, speculation. This song is the reason I did not audition for season three. <laughs> you got I did list. not want... I, 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 no. got, yeah, I, I don't want any footage of me. I don't want me. any footage of me singing, lip syncing to this song existing anywhere. Uh, look, it is. What about me? Is it camp? It's like an Aussie it, anthem to it's the an group. Anthem, like, but they used the original, not even the iconic Shannon, Shannon Noel cover from Australian Idol. Which is weird. That would have been really yeah. camp and iconic. Yeah. This version, who has listened yeah. to this since 1982? No. Which I would say is neither of their styles. No. Like, I don't think Frey is like a flip dip, da, 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 trick to trick, glamorous, I'm sexy. And Lucina is a stoic being. We've already seen Mysterious. her lip sync to um, Rush, which she did okay at. Yeah, these male vocal songs. And um, it's funny, it could have gone either way because you could have made this really funny, but they both w- decided to be really heartfelt. Yeah, like, yeah. Whoa, what about me? And the image and the video footage of Freya lip syncing this tiny little beautiful drag queen. So feminine, and that so voice soft. coming out of her is just ridiculous. What the fuck? And her doing it so seriously and so like, 
It's like, do you see what's going on here? Yeah, the vocal does not match the image. Meanwhile, um, Amazonia woman up the back is just... Poor, oh. I think they thought it was a park or bark instead of a park and bark. Yeah, because no, yeah, one did Lucina well. parked, yes. did not move. Yeah. Freya, she was... Yup, yup, yup. Little uh, next to this yeah. tall, stoic diva, Freya was a little it's chihuahua. Like a, yapping it's all a over great the stage. Dane and a chihuahua yeah. on stage. Oh my god, she was really going for it. Really Jeez, giving it's like, it. I, I have a bit of bias because I think Lucina's one of the most beautiful drag queens She's in the gorgeous. world. I'd just love to see her on my screen a little bit longer. Yeah, I mean, Lucina is fucking beautiful. Oh, one has to go. One has to go, and it's Lucina. Poor bitch. I look. I I want to see this. Love blossom with Max. I want to see where this. True, we've got more of a storyline coming here. Mm, Maybe what's going to happen? Ooh. Are they going to fuck on the main stage? Who knows? <laughs> oh my God! For this week's Maxi <laughs> Challenge. This Maxi Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> We're shooting OnlyFans content. <laughs> Stop it! Go to our Patreon where you can see exclusive content that you don't see here on our weekly episodes of Kick Ons. Um, there's lots of Q and A's and interviews with each of our guests, plus lots of other exciting shit. So head to patreoncom forward slash Kick Ons and you too can see behind the covers. Oh. Anyway, Lucina's <laughs> gone. Oh, I'm sorry, Lucina. Goodbye. You've Goodbye. done so well. You should be so proud. I'm excited you're over here in Melbourne now. Um, Welcome, I, Melbourne sister. Yes, I can't wait to see you at um, Drag Bingo. What are your predictions for the rest of the season? What are you feeling? What are you vibing? Uh, Max and Freya are going to fuck. I think that's the main thing. That's, that's the main that's thing that's going to happen. Up. Yeah. They're going to keep edging vibe for a win. I know Mandy said that she likes yes. edging, but I think they're going to... I feel like they're being really mean to Vibe now. Like, come on. Come on. Give give it to her. Give it to her. And she's on. actually taking it she's very well. She's not, like, letting it eat away at her yeah. too much. She's not, like, the poor thing's not in, like, a Lucy Laduca complex where it's, like... Or a Jan where it's, like, almost... There. Yeah. Why can't you let me win? Do you think they were trying to do that to her and she just wasn't giving it yeah, to her? Yeah, she wasn't giving it. She was like, oh, this fucking bitch lazy. She's one too. Yeah, she's like, whatever. Gotta take her down, whatever. I'll yeah. get to it later. I'll yeah. get to it later. I'm excited for the rest of the season. I'm so excited. We'll keep watching and we hope you keep watching and we hope you keep watching at home for Kick Ons. Come over and join us every single week as soon as you watch Drag Race Down Under on Stan or Wow Presents Plus. My name is Art Simone. You've been absolutely fabulous and we'll see See you next time. Bye.